Hello and welcome. This is Mark on behalf of Mac One Cars, and in today's video, I'm going to be showing you the fantastic Audi RS6 Estate Car. Now, the vehicle we have here for sale is automatic, it's finished in sprint blue metallic with black leather interior and silver stitching. The car itself's done 47,000 miles, three owners in total. And overall condition, I would say, would be a 9.5 out of 10. The only reason I haven't given, given the car a 10, and you may struggle to see this, but we just have one or two very tiny stone chips on the front bonnet there, and a very tiny dimple just here. Very, very hard to see. Otherwise, the car is in fantastic condition. Now, as per all our videos, what I'll do is I'll start by showing you the exterior before moving on to the interior. And then finally, we'll sit down and look at the paperwork and service history associated with the vehicle. Now, the only other point worth mentioning, we've got the 20-inch uh, alloy wheels on here with uh, four matching Dunlop tires. And uh, each wheel it's in very, very nice condition. There is, however, I need to point out here just one very minor mark on the rear passenger alloy. Otherwise, no scuffs, scrapes, or marks on the wheels at all. Coming around the back of the car, we have the uh, electronic boot opener. So we simply press the button and the boot opens on its own. And we've got our luggage uh, cover here to hide any valuable goods. Nice big boot on the Audi RS6. As I come around the car, I'll show you the interior. The car's also finished uh, with this lovely matte chrome silver effect on the uh, roof bars and on the wing mirror covers. As I said, the interior is in black features a carbon fiber dash and center console which you can see here and we've got our black leather with the silver stitching the RS6 logo embossed into the uh, into all the seats and a lot of space in the back there this car comes with the Bose sound system which I'll show you in a moment and we've got satellite navigation, which also doubles up as the uh, multimedia center. We have a multifunction steering wheel on this vehicle, which controls a lot of the functions on the stereo and so on. And the car is automatic, but also, also features the uh, paddle shifters here. So you can change gear without taking your hands off the wheel. Now, starting the car up. You can see we've got climate control here with separate controls for the passenger and the driver which again is linked to the uh, display on the dash and by pressing our buttons down here we can control this so for the mo at the moment I've pressed the sat navigation and you can see it wants me to uh, enter in where I'm heading if we move over to radio you can hear the sound system in the car Okay, up on the dash we've got a few buttons here, we've got our electric glove box opener and in the glove box is the connector for an MP3 or CD player. Coming around to the driver's door, we have heated retractable wing mirrors, electric windows all round, and we also have here, open the door so you can see, we've got our memory seats. So individual drivers can store their seat settings for the positions. The last thing I'll show you on the vehicle before we move on to the paperwork is under the bonnet. Here you can see we have the Audi 
V10 TFSI engine. Let's take a look at the paperwork. Okay, so here we have the paperwork for the Audi RS6. Here we have the logbook. You can see two previous keepers. They're stated on the front. Last keeper was a private owner. And the car was registered late September 2008. The car has been uh, experience checked, state HPI checked for outstanding finance uh, to see if it's been involved in any major accidents, etc. And the car is all clear, but if you wish to also check, the registration number is HV58MOA. Engine capacity 4991cc, so it's the 5 litre obviously being the RS6. And as I just stated, the car is clear on, the, uh, on, it, on its history check. Not stolen, not high risk, hasn't been involved in any major accidents and there's no finance outstanding on the vehicle. So that's all clear there. MOT certificate as of uh, when you purchase the vehicle, if you're interested in purchasing the vehicle, and the car will have a year's MOT. And here we have our past emissions test from its last MOT. Finally moving on to the service book. The car's been on a Audi long life service as you can see here. So it's had its first service at Victoria Audi and its second at Victoria Audi also. So both times serviced at the same place. And we've spoken to uh, Audi who have confirmed that it has had the services as stated in the book. So, if you have any questions about the vehicle, please feel free to call us on the number that's uh, at the end of this video. Or if you're after a similar vehicle, then please, by all means, again, give us a call and inquire. We look forward to speaking with you soon. Thank you for watching this video.